Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody's having uh, a great holiday season. Hope everybody had an, an unbelievable um, Christmas uh, weekend. So everything's good in the world, right? We're alive, we're kicking, we're healthy. Now what else do you want, right? Everything else is pretty much uh, a cherry on top. Uh, we are enjoying... You know, perhaps one of the top five markets um, I've traded in, in, in nearly 25 years. So hopefully everybody is doing well. Um, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, uh, like, 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 you know, like the, you know, like the content, subscribe, uh, share to your friends. Again, we're trying to, if you're brand new, we're just trying to give you guys uh, unbiased uh, technical analysis from both sides of the market uh, on a daily basis. No, you know, no guessing, no predicting. Um, no, you know, trying to act smart. We're just, you know, traders and we're trying to find value uh, every single day. Uh, one piece of business before we uh, go on uh, with the day. Uh, as you guys know, we're about, what, four days away, uh, four trading days, three days of trading days away from the end of 2023. Uh, if you are uh, considering, uh, you know, incorporating pivots uh, into your 2024, or you're just curious about it. Uh, this is the last uh, three, four days until December 31st. So we got basically have five days. So you have five days uh, to enjoy. We have a, a last running, uh, running discounted sale, forty-seven dollars for the next 30 days, guys. Again, I, I, I've been saying this for a long time. Is pivots for everyone? Probably not. But if you are patient, or you're working on your patience, and you're looking for a very systematic. Uh, systematic, very patient approach. Um, you know, all it takes is 30 days to kind of see if this is a good fit for you. Uh, the link is in the description below in the comments section. Uh, you have four days to take advantage and there won't be another one till Memorial Day. So you're talking about six months, uh, seven months for the next, until the next uh, discount, the trial. So hopefully you guys uh, come aboard. Um, I look forward to uh, working with each and every one of you. And again, you, you'll be very surprised when you have an alternative view uh, of the markets and you are kind of breaking away from the quote-unquote uh, normal. So I look forward to uh, seeing you guys uh, in 2024. So let's talk about the tape. Uh, obviously, uh, the majority of people I know, um, you know, pretty much off, uh, pretty much going to be off this week. They're, you know, they're winding down their books, uh, you know, trying to lock in positions. Some people are still chasing uh, performance, especially underperforming hedge funds, they're trying to uh, buy up what we put we call window dressing. Um, they're trying to put the really good looking names on their books to show their client base, hey, this is what we had this year. Yeah, I know our our our, our fund hasn't been performing, but hey, this is at least on our books. So it's a lot of window dressing. Again, we closed uh, once again all time highs and the traditional. Uh, Santa Claus rally into the January effect is still on the table. You know, we still have. Uh, is traditionally another month, month and so of bullish action. We'll see. You know, we, we don't know uh, what 2024 has installed. Maybe we get another, you know, 15, 20% upside. Hey, maybe we go down 10, 15%. It's not crazy. I mean, we were up 55% uh, on the queues. So it's very, very understandable if the market uh, at least rests at some point uh, throughout, uh, at least the start of the first quarter. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. We, we, we could easily continue rallying, but again, uh, we sh it will be determined to what happens uh, next. Uh, as you can imagine, this whole week is going to be uh, contraction per from the primary uh, names. Uh, the stocks that are giving you the $10, $12 moves only a week, two weeks ago. Uh, maybe going to give you $2 moves, right? And that's exactly what we saw today. We have less uh, participants, okay? And that's very, very normal. When you have less participants, you're going to have uh, less uh, option flow, less in institutional participation, uh, like I said, again, people are winding down their books. And what that's going to cause is tighter ranges, smaller ranges, and a lot less liquidity. I think at one point today, they said the NASDAQ volume was running like 30% below uh, average uh, average volume throughout the year. So it's very, very understandable. So this week, I'm not you know trying to recreate the wheel. I want to see if we can get something 
uh, at the open, right? And you saw and you saw today kind of basically what we were talking about. Uh, you had your initial moves today, and then the market did absolutely nothing for the rest of the day. Uh, the good news is stocks, strong stocks, continue to be uh, very, very strong. I mean, look at Intel today. This is a name uh, that was, you know, one of the leaders back when I started in 99, um, you know, just a monster, monster move. Uh, this is putting up a big number. They had some China deal, uh, China deal today. Um, you know, when was the last time you saw a run like this on Intel, right? If you look at the uh, the main cogs in the internet rally, right, that were into, that were a semiconductor, uh, security based, um, you know, networkers, the Cisco's, the Oracle's, the Intel's. That you know, Intel is is absolutely uh, gangbusters, right? And compared to a Cisco, it was really not participating anymore. Compared to an Oracle, it was just not participating anymore. If you, if you look at the stocks from the internet craze that you know, really survived and thriving, Intel, Microsoft, uh, Apple, Amazon. So, you know, it's, the strong list uh, continues to be strong. The other semiconductors that continue to do uh, really, really well is AMD. Again, we'll get to the pivots here in a second. Uh, NVIDIA, you know, we saw, again, strong 500 and 505 uh, call buyers coming in for the end of the week, you know, very ambitious. So, you know, we'll see. So far, uh, NVIDIA hasn't got back to that 500 level, but, you know, it's holding up uh, fairly well. Uh, the one other name that continues to uh, get a lot of option flow, guys, is Tesla. You know, and for all you guys who've been training Tesla, you know, when this thing goes, it goes. Uh, the problem is even the last three, four ranges that we've bought on Tesla, and the stock had great runs in those ranges, you know, seven, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen dollars. Uh, but then it just kind of drops back, and now we're stuck in this little baby range here. Uh, they were coming for the weekly uh, 260 and 265 calls. Uh, a couple of sprinkled in for the 270 weeklies. Uh, again, everybody knows the number. All it needs to do is get on top of this range here. We'll see. You know, we'll see how close it can get. But this is one of those names that might have, you know, that might have this inspired run towards. Uh, the end of the year again. This is one of those scenarios that is just one uh, one stock out of very few uh, that haven't had that really big uh, aggressive you know parabolic rally. Maybe you know maybe ends the week uh, with a bang, but it's definitely one of the names uh, I'm watching as well. Uh, look at Boeing. Boeing you know had a great 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 2023, especially in the last uh, couple of months. Has been resting here. This it kind of replayed back. Uh, the five-day moving average. Uh, they're coming for the 270 weeklies. You know, watch the you know watch the top of the range here today. You know, watch the top of the range for tomorrow. If it could clear out the 60-minute supply, who knows? Maybe they could run this thing to 270. Uh, looks pretty good. A name uh, like RUN. I think it's in the solar space. You had a gap up consolidation. You know, keep an eye on this. Uh, even a smaller name like PACB. Right at this nice crawl consolidation gap consolidation. Just needs to get back above the 150-day uh, moving average. So this really, you, you really, you know, the market really is showing uh, and demonstrating how good the overall broad uh, market is. You have uh, technology strong. You have biotechs. You know, look at Moderna, right? Look at the run uh, Moderna's had just in the last uh, couple of weeks. I mean, really, really big run as well. So there's really something for everyone. Um, you know, I am. You know, I was primarily about 90, 95% uh, beta, basically the same 10 stocks uh, for the whole year of 2023. I made a, uh, a resolution for 2024. I'm going to be 100%, 100% for those 10 stocks. I, I, think, um, I think when you avoid a temptation and avoid other names that you're not familiar with, you don't know their average range, you don't know their tendencies, the liquidity, um, you know, I think you can you can save yourself a lot of headaches and a lot of really you know B, C, and D uh, lethargic setups. So that's kind of my resolution uh, for the year. Uh, also, uh, for all you guys who've been in the webinar for the last three years, we've been really developing these bounce plays that you hear me talk about a lot, and the rejection plays talk about a lot on the videos. Um, it took me a full year. I was trading basically those bounce and rejection plays. Quarter to third size, because uh, keep this in mind: you're 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 buying, you're shorting into strength, and then you're buying into weakness. So it takes a very very, you know, strong sense of technical analysis and understand your levels to to really you know to really be uh, confident in that. And for all you guys in the web, you, you go, you guys know how great these bounces and the rejections are. So my two resolutions this year: I'm going 100% uh, into the mega cap uh, technology names, and I'm definitely increasing. Uh, significantly size on those uh, bounces uh, and rejection. Well, let us know in the comments. What's your resolution, right? What if you know if you're year one 
Uh, what's your resolution? Are you, are you trying to be a better stock selector? Are you still trying to figure out uh, what type of trader you want to be, whether it's option, equity, uh, futures, crypto, right? Um, Forex, you know, the, you know, there's there's a lot of a lot of flavors in Baskin Robbins. You know, are you uh, getting to that sweet spot of year five to seven? Uh, now that you've finally found some pretty de consistency, are you just trying to figure out, hey, uh, how much am I supposed to, you know, realistically start sizing up to get to that next uh, level of consistency without uh, putting any emotional stress into me? So there's a lot of steps here. Uh, so if you are brand new to trading or kind of finding your finally a groove or a veteran of 10, 20 years, you know, let us know, you know, it'll help somebody out in the comments. Let us know, you know, what's your resolution uh, for 2024. So going into tomorrow, you know, and here's the pivots today. You, you pretty much see what I was talking about. It's basically stocks coming out of the range uh, and then just sitting there for the rest of the day. And NVIDIA here, here was the pivot here on NVIDIA. Uh, I took the 494 break. Again, not a big move, but hey, gave us a couple of bucks uh, at the open, right? Gave us a couple of bucks here at the open. This is literally, this is a fake print, by the way. I hope that's a fake print. Hold on. All right, it's a fake print. <laughs> Never mind. I thought, I thought sorry, for a second that was a real print. Sorry about that. Uh, no, but you can see here, you can see here at the open, you know, here's the 74 area. Gave us a nice $2 candle. Um, gave us a nice $2 candle. Microsoft, not a big move at all. 40, uh, 47, 47605 meets the bill. Traded up to 47. Again, not big moves. You know, not big moves at all. Uh, again, there's just nobody there to really push these stocks. The one stock that did have a big move and now it's uh, closing up on all-time highs again is uh, AMD. AMD this morning, uh, 14070 uh, needs to build. And here is AMD, a huge move on AMD today. Really, really big move. Uh, it took out the 4070, and now it's trading back at yearly highs uh, at 43, uh, 4370s uh, after hours. And everything else was kind of going sideways. There's a pretty big disconnect for all the stocks that were strong. You had Amazon uh, pretty much going sideways. You had Microsoft having the initial run going sideways. Apple continues to have a little bit of weakness, but nothing really uh, crazy to talk about. Meta continues to be strong. So we're just kind of cruising. Uh, we're just kind of cruising into uh, the last three days of uh, 2023. And I'm looking forward, just as much, just much as everybody else, to what 2024 uh, brings to us. What's great about it is, uh, as great as the rally was at 2023, Hell, we had a phenomenal sell-off in 2022, and that's the whole point of pivots. We don't care which side the market is trading as long as we get value and as long as we're getting channels in that direction. So if you are uh, you know, ready to commit and dive into the wonderful world of pivots, all you got to do, guys, is, is the link will be below uh, in the comments. You have three days, three, four days left to take advantage uh, for, a special, for the special rate. Try it out for 30 days, and if this is something that you are looking for, just haven't really... Uh, you know, really given into finally diving in. This could be a really great opportunity, especially uh, to start 2024. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great day and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.